I'll be showing the new live captions and speaker attribution plus transcripts in Microsoft Teams meetings. This helps your Teams meetings be even more inclusive. So let's get started. So I'm here presenting inside of Teams. I have my class. We're gonna go through my solar system deck. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is turn on live captions. So the three dot menu, I go here and choose turn on live captions. And you can see along the bottom that now it is captioning with my name next to it. Now I'm gonna ask the class what their favorite planet is. So, hey folks, what is your favorite planet? My favorite planet is Mars because M is my favorite letter. My favorite is Jupiter because it's the largest planet in our solar system. And my favorite is also Saturn. The rings are gorgeous. Well, great. And as people can see, as they've been talking, it captions right next to their name and their picture. And then on the right hand side, you were seeing their video gets highlighted. So it makes it really easy to tell who's talking. Now, the other thing I want to do is turn on recording. So I will choose start recording here. Now across the top, you can see that you're recording. So let's go turn on the transcript. I'll hit the three dot menu here and choose start transcription. Now on the right hand side, you'll see that the transcript is open. And as I'm talking in real time, it will be captioning everything that I say. So Anne, I want to know from you, our friend Elon Musk is planning a trip to Mars. What do you think about that? I think it's going to be an incredible day when man actually gets to Mars. Any other comments from the class on a trip to Mars? Would you go if you had the opportunity to go? Only if I could go with Matt Damon, then it would be cool. So you can see the entire transcript is going along the right hand side. Now what I'm gonna do is go here and I'm going to say stop recording. And note you could also hide the transcript. So if you didn't wanna see the transcript going in real time, I could easily hide it here or I could click the X to close it. But I'm gonna choose stop recording and what it's going to do is wrap up the meeting and the recording and then post the transcript afterward. I'll click stop recording. Now it says the recording is being saved. You're only transcribing this meeting. So the transcript is still going on, but I stopped the recording and I'm just going to close the transcript here and I'll also go and choose stop transcription and I'll turn off live captions. Now I'm done and I'm in the team's meeting chat for the meeting we just finished. You can see that that meeting recording is right here and I could do things like open it up, I could share it, and also this meeting transcript is here. Now if I click this, it opens this up into this new recordings and transcripts tab, and now I have the entire transcript that we just talked about, and I can download this, so I can download it as a VTT file, which is common for transcripts, or as a Word document, or I can delete this. I could also go to the three dot menu and I could remove identification. Maybe that there are some privacy concerns. I just want to remove all the different people speaking or I could edit the speaker here and change that name if I need to. If you found this video useful, give it a like. Now, if you want to keep up with all the latest quick tip videos that I'll keep releasing, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get notified for all the new videos that post.